Welcome. In front of me is a Poco F5 and today I'll show you how we can go through the setup process of this device. When you boot it up for the very first time, you should be presented with well, this exact screen as you can see for me. And all we need to do is tap on this arrow and then find our desired language from the list. I'm going to be choosing English. And moving on to the next page, we can select our region. Now for me, it already selected correct one, so I don't need to even find anything. But for ease, you can actually search it, so you don't need to look through that list. Moving on to the next page, we can choose our keyboard. Now, in all honesty, there is just one keyboard. The other one is voice typing, so it's by name, not a keyboard. Moving on to the next page, we have terms and conditions like user agreement, POCO launcher, user agreement, privacy policy, and POCO launcher privacy policy. Uh, so I'm just gonna swipe down here, select that we have read and agreed to the agreement. Obviously you can tap on each one of them to read exactly what you're agreeing to. And from there, tap on an arrow, which moves us to the next page. That will allow us to insert a SIM card. Now this step is completely optional and you don't need to insert anything into your device. Uh, the reason it shows up right here is because this is one of the ways you can connect to a network. Uh, the other one would be through Wi-Fi. And again, uh, these two methods or connecting to a network is not required as well, which you will be able to see by me skipping both of them. So there we go. Uh, the reason you might want to connect to network is because this will allow you to number one log into your google account number two set the date and time automatically and number three allow you to restore your device from a backup now sticking with what's right now in front of us we have google services so those services would be location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data now if you don't want some of them you can simply turn them off like this and then swipe down select accept to go to the next page here we can set up a screen lock. We have three different ways of protecting our device. One would be screen lock, a uh, physical one, which is pin, pattern, or password. Under that, we have fingerprint, and next one is face recognition. If you're planning to use any of the two lower ones, fingerprint or face recognition, you will always be required to select a uh, physical way of unlocking your device, that be pin, pattern, or password. Now, even if you try to use both of them at the same time, uh, both of them will still require a physical way of unlocking the device. Now, the reason would be if something would happen to your fingerprint, your face, or both of them, uh, you would simply lose access to your device. That would leave you with last option, which is pen, pattern, and password, which uh, no matter what happens to you, it won't change. So as long as you remember it, you can access your device. Now moving on to the next page, we have basic settings like location, sending using diagnostic data, automatic system update. As you can see, some of them already showed up before, but previously they were from Google. Here we have ones from Xiaomi. Now, each one of them is just kind of completely up to you if you want it or not. Uh, the one that I will focus on is the biggest cancer one, which is the personalized aids, uh, ads, I mean. Uh, which is this one right here and as you can see if you try to turn it off not only do they uh, bring you a pop-up which no other option does that just to prove this literally no other option does this uh, only this one will bring up this pop-up uh, are you sure you want to turn off the personalized ads, uh, ads? and then they also do this kind of reverse psychology where they flip these two uh, with each other so if you want to actually turn it off you counterintuitively not select the blue button um, uh, the reason I'm pointing that out is personalized ads are just a way of basically tracking uh, what you search for what you talk about and I find it absolutely creepy uh, that any company even has the audacity to do this uh, now if you ever experience that maybe you're talking with your friends about oh, I don't know getting a new vacuum cleaner and next day you check out any kind of browser and you see ads on any kind of web page now all of a sudden they're about vacuum cleaners what a surprise uh, that's basically one of the reasons that is the case so I tend to turn that off anyway let's move on to the next page which is set up your lock screen uh, this is just a wallpaper carousel now if you don't know what wallpaper wallpaper sorry that was a little bit uh, 
tongue twister. Uh, what wallpaper carousel is, it is uh, basically a hand-picked uh, bunch of like wallpapers by Xiaomi that will cycle through your wallpaper every time you wake up your device. So I uh, just kind of make this as an example. So when you press the power button and you have your lock screen, it will show you one wallpaper. Lock it, unlock it, new wallpaper. So the wallpapers that will be shown are just like super varied in genre. So here is a couple of them. Uh, two of them are just about the same kind of genre. It's just a scenery. Then we have a cat. Uh, but there are also things like furniture, houses, uh, just architecture, and all kinds of weird stuff. So you might not be necessarily too fond of it. You can check it out, uh, agree to it, and uh, just have it enabled. And then through settings, you can turn it off if you don't want to. Or obviously, if you don't want to use this at all from the beginning, you can just select skip. And this will basically finish up the setup once we actually have our button. Should be any moment. Guess I'm just gonna... There we go. Let it do whatever. And here is our home screen. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.